Will he or won't he? Seattle's Mayor Ed Murray expected to decide next week as to whether he's getting back into the race for his office. One factor that will be a part of his calculation, a new poll that he's commissioned this week. And we're asking for your opinion as well. King 5 political reporter Natalie Brand starts us off. She talked to one of the people behind that poll. Natalie. And Lori Mark, this would be more than just a typical poll to gauge support for the mayor because the mayor would have to file as a write-in candidate if he decides to jump back in the race. And that takes more organizing and effort. And the mayor does not have a whole lot of time with the August primary a little more than a month away. I think as we sit here today, he probably is leaning towards yes. But, you know, there's so many factors for him to look at. Ron Dotsauer's firm Strategies 360 is working on a new poll for Mayor Ed Murray, one of the factors that could help him decide whether he relaunches a campaign for re-election. There's a high probability we'll be finished by early next week. He'll examine that and look at the other aspects. Well, you know, whenever you consider running for office, you have to take into a lot of factors. And uh, certainly, um, you know, have to have a talk with my husband. And uh, we're still feeling wounded from um, how the allegations were handled. And uh, I just need to spend some time. It's been a roller coaster couple of months for the Seattle mayor. Last week, the civil suit against Murray alleging sexual abuse in the 1980s was dropped. His accuser saying he wants to wait until the mayor is out of office to pursue the case. That new development just one month after the suit had already caused Murray to withdraw his campaign in May and cut short his political future. That I am withdrawing as a candidate for mayor. Since that announcement, the field of mayoral candidates has grown to more than 20. A new King 5 KOW poll out this week found former Seattle Mayor Mike McGinn and former U.S. Attorney Jenny Durkin lead the pack as the front runner so far, with nearly 40 percent of voters surveyed still undecided. It's a little bit of wild times in the in the downtown Seattle corridor of voting behavior. I asked Dotsauer, a longtime political strategist, how this already wild race could change again if Murray decides to re-enter it. My intuition tells me that he reaches real deep into Jenny Durkin's pocket of voters and that I think there's a huge overlap between her constituency and his constituency. But a write-in campaign would pose additional challenges since you have to get voters to actually physically write in the candidate's name and probably most, sorry, probably the most high-profile successful write-in candidacy in this state was back in 1994, a congressional race in southwest Washington here in Seattle. The Archives Department says there was a successful write-in campaign for a municipal court judge back in the 90s. Again, the mayor is expected to make a decision next week. Now, if you want to learn more about the current candidates filed or see our poll out this week. We have all that info online as well as a special really fun feature on the candidates. We're calling them candidate baseball cards with some fun facts about these candidates. We asked everything from favorite spot in the city to campaign theme song, their tagline. It's actually really fun. You'll want to check it out. Okay, Natalie, thanks.